Hey guys, me Dave. It's, uh, well, it is 9-17-2022. So, I want to do a video because, um, they're scaring the crap out of Tanner. It's May 17th. It's 520. 5-17. I don't know if I said 9-17, but it's 5-17. Uh, May 17th. So, it's May 17th, and they started lighting off fireworks the last couple days. Nights. You know, um... On 4th of July and anywhere in between there, it's like a war zone uh, with all the fireworks. Um, they got these, you know, these young punks laid off fireworks. They don't, even, they don't even know how to light them off. They're, you know, almost hurting themselves. Uh, but they got these little boys that they like to hang around uh, lighting off fireworks. Um, you know, so uh, what they're doing is they're, they're traumatizing Tanner. Um, he's shaking his boots right now. He's like hiding in the corner on his bed and they're scaring the crap out of him. You know, I, I, you know, Tanner's going to be three years old this year. He's only, he's only two right now. He's going to be three in like August or something. July, August, July, I think. He's going to be three, you know, so, um, you know, I can't understand why he's so afraid of, you know, I mean, it didn't click until now. Like, why is he so afraid of loud noises? Like, if we're riding in the car and I got a rattle or something, he, he gets freaked out. You know, if a, a car goes by making loud noise, um, you know, he's freaked out, freaked out by that. Well, it's got to be these guys, you know, traumatizing him uh, with the fireworks every year. You know, every single year, because he came from the country um, where he didn't have a lot of noise, you know, car noise and stuff like that, no fireworks. Um, he moved down here into the city with me, and he is traumatized. Um, they're traumatizing my dog. He was outside at, in the backyard, and they lit off fireworks. Um, it wasn't real close. It was maybe a block away, but... It was enough to make him come inside and scratch at the door, you know. So, uh, these, these, you know, I'm going to swear, these pieces of shit uh, don't care about anything, you guys. These, these selfish bastards don't care about anything. They don't care about nothing. They're getting paid 20, 25 bucks. I don't know what they're getting paid. But I'll tell you something, when it's their turn, when it's their turn, and it will be their turn someday, they're going to care. They're going to they're gonna give a shit then, when it's their turn, and it will happen. Because they're using and abusing these idiots, and they're going to turn on all these idiots, and they're going to be next. You know? So, they better be prepared, because this ain't stopping uh, at them, you know, these people, they're, they're running around, ah, ah, you know, in, in harassing you and making noise and lighting off fireworks, like a bunch of stupid idiots, I, it's like, I can't stand it, it's like, you are the biggest idiot right now, because you don't know what you're involved in, this is a worldwide program, run by one of the biggest agencies in the world and you're laughing and giggling like a goddamn idiot sorry for using god's name like an idiot you know i mean it, it, it just i look at these people and they're stupid they're stupid they're so stupid it's like they better pull their head out of their butt because they're not safe from this they're using you, and they don't care about you, and they don't care about your family either. They don't care about you. But apparently these people think they're untouchable. Well, they're not. So Tanner is traumatized by these fireworks, and it's causing him to have more problems because he doesn't want to go out in the truck. I tried getting him two nights. The last two nights I tried getting him to go for a ride to the park in the truck, and he wouldn't go. He wouldn't go. You know, I want to take him camping close by, right in town, uh, so me and him could bond and have a little, a little our time, 
you know, because we have other dogs, you know, so I think me and him spending time together would be good, but he doesn't want to go in the truck, you know, so, you know, something happened to him, and I think it's the fireworks, he's, he's afraid, he's afraid because of the fireworks, and they've been doing this since I got him, you know, they've been doing it nonstop, for years. I call the police. The police don't come. They'll drive by and they, they don't say anything to these guys. They're lighting off illegal Roman candles and the police pull up and they drive away. They pull up and drive away because someone someone else complained. You know, because they're over at the park lighting off these big Roman candles and everything else. And they pull up and they pull away. They don't do nothing, you know. They don't do anything. They do what they're told. They're told by somebody to do nothing, you know. Stand down or whatever you want to call it, you know. I was on the phone last year and I called. I said they're lighting all these fireworks off all over the place over here. It's it's impossible not to hear it. I was on the phone with nine one one and you could hear these guys. And then you know what they did? They're so cocky and arrogant. They started to light them off at my house when I was on the phone with 911. That's how cocky and arrogant these idiots are. That's how cocky these son of a bitches are. They don't know how stupid they are. They don't know how stupid they are. They really don't. It's like they don't know how stupid they are. It's like they're a bunch of dipshits. And if I was them, I'd be scared. I'd be scared right now if I was them because they're going to turn on all these punks and all this stuff and I bet you they got their brainwave signature and they're probably being monitored and their families are being monitored. They know everything about these people. I guarantee it. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little, I had a vent. I'm a little upset because it's May and they're lighting up fireworks. It's not even July yet. You know, and they're getting away with it because, you know, they're they're hiding in the darkness. You don't know who's doing it. They're hiding in the darkness, and they're um, they're cowards is what they are. They're cowards, you know. So they're gonna be next someday. They're gonna be next someday, you guys. Um, so I I I you know we are the lucky ones, uh, because when they come for these people. They're not going to be so lucky, you know, and they're going to, they're going to, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but they're going to be next someday. Anyway, so I'm going to cut this off. I'm sorry. I'm upset uh, because they're scaring and, and traumatizing my dog. Um, so I'm going to cut this off and I'll talk to you guys later.